Um, listen, guys, uh, I am so excited to be here today. Um, some of you know me, some of you don't. Uh, uh, my name is Maz Jobrani. I'm an Iranian-American comedian. Yes. Some of you might be asking, what's an Iranian-American comedian doing performing at the White House? Uh, let's just say it was part of the nuclear deal. I'm just kidding. Um, no, but seriously, I was asked to come here and introduce the First Lady and also to speak uh, briefly about Nowruz uh, in a fun way. Uh, Nowruz, yes, give it up for Nowruz. As many of you know, uh, Nowruz is the first day of spring, first moment of spring, and um, it's celebrated all over the world by uh, people uh, that I have a list of. I was trying to memorize this, these countries, but I think I'm, I'm probably gonna leave some people out, but I know a lot of you are here today. It's celebrated by Afghans, Albanians, Azeris, um, Bulgarians, Georgians, Iranians, <laughs> Iraqis, Kazakhs, Kurds, Parsis, Tajiks, Turks, Turkmen, Uzbeks, and many more. Um, growing up uh, as an Iranian-American, um, I, uh, I observed that Nowruz uh, basically uh, puts all of the American holidays uh, into a two-week period. <laughs> we squeeze it all in. It's Nowruz, which is the New Year, uh, so it's like New Year's Eve. We give gifts, so it's like Christmas. Um, we color eggs, so it's like Easter. <laughs> we go door-to-door -door looking for sweets, so it's like Halloween. We jump over fire, so it's like 4th of July. We picnic, so it's like Memorial Day and Labor Day. All of this within a two-week period. Yes. The only American holiday missing from Nowruz is Valentine's Day, which goes to prove that Nowruz was started by a man. Now, uh, it's been great seeing some old faces here today, as well as making some new friends. I must say my back is a little sore from bowing so much. We're a very formal people, people from Iran, Afghanistan, uh, Tajikistan, we're very formal. Um, I, I always forget how formal we are until I end up at events like this. Um, I was at a, a, an Iranian event a little while ago and I was walking past this older Iranian lady and I accidentally stepped on her toes. Yeah, and I said, I'm sorry. And she goes, Maz, no, please, don't be sorry. My foot is too long. <laughs> she took credit for me stepping on her toes. That's how formal we are. Now, um, I, let me tell you guys something. Again, growing up Iranian in America, I will say I came here when I was six years old, grew up in Northern California, and NorCal, I was always a little embarrassed by my immigrant parents, as kids can be. And I used to try to blend in as much as I could. Uh, I used to play baseball. Uh, I used to eat apple pie. Um, I would eat apple pie while playing baseball. Whatever it took to blend in, and things would be going great. I'd be at the park playing with my friends Sam, Brett, Jesse, Steve, Jason, all the Americans you could imagine. Things would be going great until my family would show up to pick me up. And they would show up in a Mercedes Benz, which is a standard issue car for most Iranians. Uh, and the car would be packed with the entire family. I don't know if that's an immigrant thing or what, uh, but whenever they went, even for short trips, everyone would be in the car. Uh, my dad would be, everyone in the car, let's go. We're going to pick up Mars two blocks from here. Uh, bring grandma, bring the dialysis machine, bring the, bring the rooster. He'd love to see the rooster. And these immigrants would show up to pick me up at the park. And I would try to hide from them. But my father would call out for me in his thick Persian accent. And he would just blow my cover. He would say, Maziar, time to go home. And I would turn to my friends and say, I don't know who that is. I think he's trying to kidnap me. And my dad would say, son, you should be proud. You should be proud. We are Persian. We had an empire. We had an empire. 2,500 years ago, we had an empire. Right now, it's being remodeled. It's more like a duplex right now. But eventually, we'll have another empire. You should be proud. Now, I will say, having grown up now in America, uh, I am proud of my uh, Iranian heritage, as I'm sure a lot of you are proud of your own backgrounds and your heritage. Um, but I will tell you what else I'm proud of, and I'm sure you are as well. Uh, I'm proud to be American. And um, yes. And I will tell you right now, I believe that I am about to have the proudest moment I've had as an American. I mean, I can't believe this is happening, man. I'm waiting for Ashton Kutcher to go, you punked!
uh, I get to introduce the first lady. Um, wow. Uh, okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. Um, first of all, I want to say that I'm grateful to the Obamas for uh, celebrating uh, Nowruz for the second year in a row here at the White House. And they're recognizing that this tradition is part of the American fabric, okay? And um, let me tell you uh, about the First Lady. The First Lady, I swear, every time I see her, she is an inspiration to everybody I know, as well as myself. Um, whenever I see her on any program, I'm not kidding, every time I watch her, I just find myself nodding and going, yeah, she's right, she's right! <laughs> she's an amazing lady, um, her warm smile, her, 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 her gracious uh, um, spirit, and her positive uh, message is the best way to bring us all into a new spring and into Nowruz. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to introduce the First Lady of the United States, Michelle Obama! Yeah.